The Connected Africa Summit 2024 is set to serve as a strategic forum to chart a course towards a digitally empowered and interconnected future for Africa, setting the stage for growth and prosperity in the continent. So far, over 20 countries have confirmed sending representatives to the five-day summit. The Continental Summit on ICT so far has confirmed attendance from a number of leaders from the continent, including uh, special, uh, seven special envoys, eight ministers, one deputy minister, two principal secretaries, and 18 ambassadors from 21 countries across the globe. Addressing an editor's forum at a Nairobi hotel, engineer Tanui said the summit is a platform for the media to explore the use of advanced ICT tools such as artificial intelligence and machine learning to customize their content for the various audiences. I believe also it's a great opportunity for our media houses to extend bridge beyond our borders. We want to see a space in the coming days to see the digital platforms for our media houses having reach across the continent. Uh, we appreciate this opportunity and we are happy. In fact, the, the, the ministry has confirmed that media will participate and actually be uh, in the panel. Uh, the previous summits, we haven't gotten that opportunity. Kenya, which has been hosting various regional, continental and global events, hopes the Connected Africa Summit 2024 will help cement the country as a hub of conference tourism, among other national benefits. We think that Kenya uh, is a perfect host for uh, digital transformation as far as the African continent is, is concerned. Uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, of course, we have already positioned ourselves, uh, we, you know, strategically. The event has attracted the support and involvement of both public and private sector institutions drawn from Kenya and across the borders. The inaugural Connected Africa Summit was held in 2009 and targeted to nurture innovative ideas and partnerships that will leverage technology to enhance development. Alanoko, Lunchtime News.